Well, a good hump day to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home in the sticks. I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. But over here in East Central Mississippi, cloudy, supposed to rain this evening, and they even talking about a little bit of snow over the weekend. Imagine that. Before we get started on today's video, I always like to mention that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is we're going to do a little experiment of sorts. Give me a second, we're fitting to go off in this shop and I'm finna show you. And what you doing now? Well, I'm here to tell you, on December 22nd, I started some more lettuce seeds in the hope to have some sprouts come up so I could add those into the, uh, to a cracky system for some succession lettuce. But seven days later, no germination whatsoever. I'm not really sure if it's a seed viability issue. That I don't know. So what I did was I went to the Lowe's and I purchased another pack of lettuce seeds and this is the black seeded simpson what i did was i went back to the old tried and true method of using paper towels try to get those seeds to germinate and i did this yesterday that's just keeping those paper towels damp creating a small greenhouse effect if you will i just put it in this old pyrex dish and i got it sitting over there on a heat mat some folks have a lot of success just putting those seeds in a uh, damp paper towel, putting it in a Ziploc bag and letting it see what it'll do. For me, my temperature fluctuates so much in my shop, I use a heat mat to ensure germination. It's worked so far. But I don't really know if that's gonna work. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you another technique, one that I haven't used before, did a lot of reading on it, watch folks use it, and it is called water germination. Let me get set up and then we're gonna rock on. All right, what we have here is just uh, some tap water out of the faucet in a little small Pyrex bowl. First thing we want to do is we want to check this water to see what the pH is on it. I'm going to say the water, the pH on this water is going to be probably 7475. We're going to use our HM pH meter. We'll fire it up and let's get to testing this pH. It's probably going to take uh, maybe about 30 seconds to get a reading. We're going to swirl it around a little bit. Let it sit there, swirl it around. All right, I'm gonna hit the hold button. We're showing a pH of 7.5. I hope that's coming out. So I think uh, pH of 7.5 is just a tad bit too high. So we wanna get that pH down to 5.8, 6.0, somewhere in that, uh, in that range. So what we're gonna use is some General Hydroponics pH down, and we're just gonna add it to this water and see if we can't get the pH down just a little bit. What we're going to do is we're just going to add maybe a drop of this pH down, and I mean just a drop. We're going to swirl it around and see what happens. And this, uh, this experiment is a testing phase for me too, so I am trying to figure out what I need to do to adjust the pH on my water and how many drops it'll take to bring that pH down. And considering this is a small amount of water, I don't know, we'll see. We're going to stir it around a little bit. Okay, let's hit the whole button. That one drop of pH down, drop this water pH to 5.9. I hope you can see that, and I'm good with that. So we're going to rock on with it just like that. Okay, quick word of caution when you're using uh, the pH down, it is an acid. That's what reduces or lowers the pH. So if you have sensitive skin, you might want to wear gloves when you're using that product when you're using this product. Okay, so let's rock on. The next thing we're gonna do is drop some seeds into this water and see if they germinate. Let's start, let's do that. Take us, uh, I don't know, maybe eight seeds, maybe, somewhere around there. Them jokes are small too. Four, five, six, seven, eight, yep. See if you see the seeds floating around in there. Get these guys a little mash down and a little stir. Okay, and that is what we are left with. Now from the reading that I've done on water germination, anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, you should see 
the uh, the tail emerge from the seed. That I don't know. I like the principle behind it. Seed is totally submerged in water. It doesn't have to want for anything other than just sprout the uh, the root side of the seed. So. We're gonna see what happens, and if it works, then we're gonna rock on. We, we're gonna throw them jokers in some, some uh, rock wool, and we're gonna get our grow on. So, yeah, water germination. Well, there you have it. That's what I wanted to share with you and y'all today. We're gonna try a different way to get some seeds germinated. Don't know what the dealio is with the seeds. Again, it might be a viability issue. We're gonna find out with these. We got two different methods of germination going on. We got the paper towel method and we have the water method. We're gonna see if either one works or if both of them work, even better. We got more seedlings. So again, I hope everybody is having a good Wednesday and I hope everybody's being safe amid this crisis that we still have going on. If you like this video, go and give it a thumbs up, they help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and Sticks channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over here, give old dad a look. Because I'm always doing stuff. With that being said, you know it's coming. Dan Reference Show sure Enough always going to say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. You show enough, get your shine on, get your grow on, be you. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.